in today's wisdom with your pusher, Victoria Randall of The Secret Cocktail. So this is going to be a touchy topic because I'm probably going to touch a few um, nerves. I'm just going to be real. I might touch a few nerves with this topic, but it has to be said. And I think that um, sometimes if we do some self-reflection, we can admit to some things and that's the only way that we can be better, right? Like we can only get better if we assess our current behavior and then try to figure out a way that we can do better, okay? You can only do better if you know better and sometimes people have to bring it to your attention. So this is gonna be one of those conversations that might be touchy. I'm just gonna be real. So who has heard that it takes money to make money. I'll never forget a friend of mine told me that um, back when I was in college, we were getting ready to go out one night and she was getting dressed and um, she had went and spent all this money. I was like, girl, what are you spending all of this money? She's like, girl, it takes money. Um, you got to spend money to make money. And, you know, I really like we were trying to, you know, go out and network, stuff like that. And in order for people to see me in that type of light, I got to look to park. I was like, okay. And that has always stuck with me to be true, that you've got to uh, spend money to make money. And that is really true in business, okay? So um, I'm going to do some numbers for you. Because to be honest, like this, this business game, this marketing game, all of this stuff, y'all, it's really in the numbers. And you'll see that. If you come to the Secret Cocktail Mastermind Retreat, uh, we will be doing a lot of number crunching, a lot of number pushing um, to help you figure out your projections for your profits and things like that and you will see real quick that it is a numbers game in business so you've got to uh, be about the numbers so let's we're going to crunch some numbers uh, we're going to play a numbers game and i want to let me turn this off and um i want you to be real with yourself now i'm not pointing anybody out because i don't know y'all business i don't know who's doing what all right i'm just telling you what i have seen you know from others in the past and I think that it can be a learning lesson. Let's just say that. So who has a, um, what do you want to call it? Like something that they just have to do, right? Like, let's say you have, um, you have to have your Starbucks coffee every day, period. Like you just got to, you can't start your day without your Starbucks or, you know, you're a person that you just got to get your hair done once a, once a month, you got to go out, you know, you buy your bundles, you get your hair done. Um, let's say you're a nails fanatic every two weeks, you got to go and get your nails done, whatever it is, whatever your thing is that you're going to always constantly spend money on for yourself. That's kind of like a, um, a, a crutch for you. You don't really need it, but you feel like you need it. You feel like you want it. So you constantly spend this money on it. You have no problem doing it. You dish it out. You don't even think twice. Like, should I go get my nails done? You don't think you like, Oh, two weeks is up. I need a fill. You go do it. Oh, my edge is looking a little crazy. My hair looking crazy. Let me go. It's time for me to get my hair redone. You don't think twice about it. You need to be the same in your business. If you want your business to grow, blossom, you've got to do the same. You've got to put the work in. You've got to put the money in with the work. So let me give you an example. If you had Starbucks, let's say a five or a six dollar cup of Starbucks coffee every day. That's what you do. That's about $150 a month. Okay. Let's say that you're constantly getting your nails done. You know, you get your nails done every two weeks. That's probably about, I don't know, depending on how fancy you get, that could be a hundred dollars a month. Whatever it is, you're spending money on something that's not giving you any money in return or not giving you any type of results in return. Um, you need to think about that. All right. And think about your business. How can you pour into your business instead? So now I know that a lot of people are scared to do ads. A lot of people are scared. They're terrified. I don't know how to do an ad. Um, I don't know how to spend money on that. I don't know how to do it. I, they, I don't want to do it. And because you don't want to or because you lack that um, knowledge, you run from it. You shy away from it. Or when you do it, you don't get the result you want. So you just Im immediately shut down and say, I'm not doing it anymore. Doesn't mean it doesn't work. It could mean that you just happen to do something wrong. So we have to investigate to figure out, okay, I know I need to do this, but this isn't working right. What about it isn't working right so I can revamp my system? Um, don't just give up and run the other way, all right? You don't do it with your hair, right? When you find a beautician or a um, stylist and they do your hair and you love it, and then something happens and you gotta find a new one, it's gonna take a few times for you to find somebody that can do your hair the way you want or do your nails the way you want. But until when you then find that one, you're good. 
you're still spending money in the process, right? You're still spending money in the process and the same is true for your business. You're not always going to get it right on the first time with your marketer. You're not going to always get it right on the first time with the person that does your graphic design. That's just the nature of the business. You may not like the way they do things and vice versa. You got to keep spending money and figuring out until you get the right one. But when you get that right one, the rest is history. Like you, you just flow, things flow and you start getting that money back and response triple. Okay. Triple fold. Um, I have a lot of, again, let's get back to the ads. So a lot of people are fearful to do ads because they're fearful that they're not going to get their money back. And so they play with it. And nothing's wrong with playing with ads, like throwing a little money here and there to an ad because you want to try to get a feel for what type of ad looks good versus what type of ad doesn't. So let me give you an example. Like, let's say um, I did an ad that is just a graphic that says, um, start a CNA, t CNA school today, join my seminar in February, right? It's just a, a graphic with words nothing fancy. And then above it, it says all the details like, Hey, we're having a seminar. You should come check it out. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. But then if I have another ad that I do and the next ad has maybe a picture of me interacting with people and it's like, Hey, you, um, do you want to make more money? Do you want to be free from nursing, whatever? And it kind of like plays on their heartstrings, talks to them about what it is that where they are in their life. Right. And where they want to be. And then it shows me interacting with somebody that's actually doing that. Okay, the same for CNA school. Hey, do you wanna get a, a new career? Do you wanna make more money? Do you wanna take care of your family? Then come start a CNA, come start, uh, a CNA school a training today. All right, which one do you think is gonna do better? Just the graphic that says, hey, come be a CNA today or the one that is interacting, showing a CNA, working, um, showing them with their family, whatever it is, caring for a resident, that's going to get better traction, but you won't know that or what your audience is going to respond to until you start pushing ads out and you've got to push ads out and you've got to spend a little bit. And I'm not saying go crazy and spend a whole bunch of money initially on an ad. I'm saying play with it first and see what kind of a response you get. Does this ad do good or does this one? And once you figure out which ad does the best, then you put your money on the dollar that you know is going to give you some type of return. All right. So that $150 that you're spending on Starbucks every day, take that and play with ads instead, please. Play with ads instead. Did you know that with ads, you can narrow it down so specific? You can narrow it down to the zip code, to the financial status, to the things that these people like to look at on the internet, what they watch on TV. Like you can narrow it down very specifically. I want to... I want this ad to be shown to people who are 18 to 22 who live in this zip code 20501 and they watch Grey's Anatomy and they visit, um, I don't know, whatever online store, I don't know. Um, and then what will happen is when you push that ad out, that ad will sh be shown specifically to those people and those people only. Why do you want to do that? Because you have a greater chance with those people than you do just blasting it out to the world saying, hey, world, I have a CNA school and I want you to sign up. 75% of those people probably don't care. They probably don't. So don't waste your money showing them your ad because they don't care. You need to focus in on people who are more interested in what it is that you have to offer. And, um, and learning who your target audience comes with practice and comes with time, but you've got to do that. So anyway, back to, to the money spending because that's what we're talking about right now. We're talking about the money. So after you've spent that $150 to kind of learn who's clicking on what and who's looking at what, then you want to really put some dollars behind a real ad, okay? Um, all of this we're talking about right now is in theory, I understand, and that's the reason behind the mastermind retreat is because uh, I want you to actually do things. Hey, good morning, Angela. I want you to actually work and do these things. It's not me talking to you about an ad and how great ads are and um, how you should do SEO and how you should optimize your website and telling you uh, how much money to spend on. No, the mastermind retreat will be you coming, getting your laptop out, opening it, having the, pr uh, the person who's presenting walk you through the steps and understanding this is how the best way to do a Facebook ad, if that's what you guys want to learn. 
this is how you find keywords for your blog if that's what you guys want to do uh oh there we go <clears throat> so um, it's actually walking you through the steps of getting things done in terms of marketing for your business so you can learn and leave and be able to implement them when you get home. Now, who's spending $100 or $150 on ads? Okay, who is? I want to know. Um, or who, who is only budgeting for that? Like when you write your business plan, are you only budgeting for $100, $150 for an ad? Because if you are, let me show you the numbers. It's all about the numbers. Nothing's wrong with doing $150 in the beginning to try to learn what ad gets a better response. And you find out by the likes, by the shares, by the comments, things like that. If you push an ad out there and nobody's saying anything, it's garbage. If you push an ad out there and people are liking and um, sharing and stuff like that, then you have a good ad. Good morning, Nancy. Thanks for joining. So let's do the numbers real quick. So let's say you put $150 towards an ad. And now you've understood like, okay, this ad sh does better. Remember we talked about the two different ads and you decide this one does better and you push it out there in space and you put $150 on it. Let's say you're doing this on Facebook. Did you know, good morning trees. Did you know that on Facebook for $5, okay, depending on how you freak the ad for $5, you only get about 20, I'm sorry, 19 cents per click is what you're paying. So if you say I want $5 a day, you're only getting about, you're paying 19 cents per click, which turns out to be 26 clicks a day. 26 clicks a day. Do you only want 26 clicks a day? Because the person who actually clicks is the person that is interested. Think about your behavior when you're online. If you see an ad that says sponsored and you just scroll, then you're just an insight. You're the person that it just went past. You didn't even interact with it. You didn't engage with it at all. If you're the person that was scrolling and then you saw a sponsored ad and you clicked on it, you're that click. But then I want you to think next, when you click and then you read, do you always then go to the next action, which is putting your email address in or move forward with signing up? Do you always do that? No, you don't. So although you get 26 clicks per day for that $5 a day, and this is all in theory, but these are real numbers, okay? But it's, it's theoreticals. So it could be give or take. Did you know that in the market, only one to 3% of people who actually click um, then go on to convert? And tell me if you guys don't understand what that means. Hey, Sarita, I'm gonna see you in a minute. Um, only one to 3% of those people convert. That means, remember what I just asked you, they actually put in their email address, they actually sign up for whatever it is. Only one to 3% of those 26 people. Okay, so let's say you had this ad running five dollars a day for one hundred and fifty dollars, and you did it for a full month. Twenty-six clicks a day is seven hundred and eighty clicks for that month. Seven hundred and eighty clicks. What is three percent? We're going to give you three percent just because I love you today. <laughs> okay, it could be one percent. We're going to give you three percent. Three percent of seven hundred and eighty people who clicked on that ad is only twenty-three people. Okay, so that means you just spent $150, only 23 people have clicked. And that still doesn't mean that they took the next step. They just clicked on that ad. Now let's say they took the next step and they actually converted because they signed up. Do you know what 3% of 23 is? It's not even one. It's not even one. So back to my point, it takes money to get money. You're going to have to pay more than $150 for an ad, okay, if you want your ad to convert. It's okay to do that in the beginning because you want to get a feel for what people like and you don't want to put all your money behind something. But in theory, $5 a day could potentially only get you one customer, one customer. In theory, it could get you more. You could have a fire bomb ad that everyone loves and, and they resonate with it. They feel like it's them. You're pulling at their heartstrings. You're talking their language. And now you're the answer to their solution. They've been wanting to go to school forever. But does that happen often? No, no, because you have three types of buyers. You have the buyer who is in the market and they want it now. You have the buyer that, eh, I mean, it's a cool idea, but I'm not really ready to move. And then you have the third person that don't even know you exist, okay? And is not even thinking about becoming a CNA that you have to convert to even think about it. 
three different types of buyers. So you have to have an ad that talks to each one of those people, right? The ad that I'm looking for this, this is what I want, then that ad needs to say, hey, you, here's, you wanna become a CNA? Let's do it today. All right, sign up, we got a special, whatever. Do you think that's gonna talk to that third person who doesn't even know what a CNA is and doesn't even know a CNA exists? No, you're not. That ad is not gonna work for that person. So you have to even do a separate ad for that person to say, hey, did you know that CNAs are in demand? Did you know CNAs have a rewarding career? Do you even know what CNAs are? If not, click here to learn more. Okay, you've gotta have different ads for different types of buyers. Um, so again, that's back to that. And who's gonna, who, who are you gonna get more money from? That person who, they ha you have what they want, they just are looking for the right person to give their money to. That's the person that's gonna convert quicker. So yeah, you may get three to 5% of people clicking on that, but that slow lane person that doesn't even know you exist and doesn't even know what a CNA is, you know, it's gonna take a lot of warming them up to bring them over to your side. And so that one ad that they just happen to see out of those 30 days is not enough. Did you know it takes five touches before a person even know you exist and starts to trust you and thinks about buying from you? five touches. Think about you guys. Think about how many of you watched me and watched me before you finally signed up for any of my services. Think about that. It was probably five or 10 times. That's normal. That's normal. That's the norm. When you show somebody an ad, they are not going to immediately sign up with you. They want to get to know you. They want to find out what it is that you do. If your services really are great, are you really going to get me certified as a CNA? Have you helped other people? They want to know all those things before they buy with you. So you're $150 on that one ad that went out only once for that one month and only touched 780 people and only 23 people clicked. It's not going to do it. You got to spend more money. All right. So, um, and I know that that's a scary thought for you. I know it is. And it was a scary thought for me. Uh, in our secret community, people were asking, how much do you guys spend on ads? And when I, when I shared how much I spend on ads, nuts <laughs> like people were like what yeah because it takes money to get money okay i can spend a thousand dollars or or let's say 600 to a thousand dollars on an ad but i have to think about my products and how much they cost and how much i'll get in return so think about you if you spent 500 dollars on an ad now if you got two students off of that or three students off that 500 dollars, how much is your tuition is your tuition $600 or $1,000? So just one student even signing up has paid for that ad, plus the two additional, now you just tripled your money back. It's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. Don't be scared. Figure out what works for your customer in terms of images and videos and words. And once you've get, gotten that figured, then you can move and start doing big money and spending more money on ads. I hope this makes, does this make sense to you guys? Tell me, does this make sense? Tell me, yes, this makes sense. Um, even though you're scared. I know you're scared. I'm still scared. Like I have to up my budget soon. Up, I'm going to have to up my budget soon on my ads. Um, after I hire, I'm hire, I'm looking to hire a person to um, come on, be a consultant to help me. And once I hire that person and I get them trained, I'm going to have to up my budget on my ads. That's scary. Even though I know I'm making the money, it's still scary, guys. It, it's okay. Just have faith, have trust and faith in your ability to convert them over to students. Have trust and faith in your ability to, um, to teach them what they need. And once you do that in the beginning, after a year or two, you probably won't even have to, we won't even have to have this ad conversation because you'll probably have so many students coming in from word of mouth, it's not even an issue anymore. But in the beginning, you have to get your name out there. Hey, Linda, you're, you're welcome. I hope this is helpful. Um, it is scary. <laughs> it's scary. It's all scary. I know that's right, Sarita. It's all scary. Like the whole, I'm going to have a real deal brick and mortar school, right? I'm going to be responsible for everything in here, a whole nother rent, a whole people's lives, touching them, teaching them, um, making sure they have everything they need. The entire situation is scary. Okay. Every piece of it, but have faith in yourself and your ability. You've come this far, or if someone, you know, whatever your higher power is, has put it on your spirit to do this, then it is meant for you, period. It's meant for you. And if you don't, answer your calling, you're going to continue to live in a place of discomfort. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> I did it. 
you're going to continue to live in a place of discomfort because that's not where you're supposed to be. Okay. So stop being scared. Stop trying to psych yourself out. Stop trying to do other things. Stop trying to make up reasons. If it is on your heart that this is what you need to do, do it. Do you have to do it with me? No, you don't. You can do it on your own. I want to be there to help you. I want to help you through so that you don't make monetary mistakes, but just know that if it's something you need to do, I don't care who you do it with, do it because you're not going to be happy until you do. You're not going to be where you're supposed to be until you do. All right. So I got to get going, guys. Um, if you're just coming in, please watch the replay. This is some good stuff. Okay. The moral story is if you spend $150 on your hair, stop, get that ponytail and go spend that money on your business. <laughs> That's the moral of the story, okay? If you spend it $150 on Starbucks, stop it, chew some gum, and put it into your business. Um, figure out how to get your business. You're not scared to buy the Starbucks. You're not scared to get your hair done. Why are you scared to spend money on ads for your business to get the word out there? People are not going to sign up for your services if they do not know that they exist, okay? They're not. You have to do something to let them know that you exist and ads until you get your name out there is the main way. Um, July, because we're pushing it back to July, I think. July is the Secret Cocktails Mastermind Retreat. This is the type of discussion we're going to have, but in depth, okay? I'm talking about one-on-one. -on -one, here's what you're doing. Here's how to do it. Open your computer. Let's do it. Now you're done. When you go home to your respective state, you got your ads set up, you're good. You can play with that ad. And if you don't know how to fix it, you, um, or if it's not working, you can make, now you can build a new one because you know how to do it, okay? Or you can always call that speaker and get some help from them if you don't want to do it. Like me, I don't want to do my ads anymore. I'm over it. I don't have time for it. I just bring somebody else in and I have them do it for me, all right? But it took time to get there. And it's going to take time for you to get there also. So you need the knowledge in the beginning so that when you do hire somebody, they can't play you. Okay, you know, you understand what the ad game is about. They can't try to get you. You can feel confident in that. That's what we're trying to view at the retreat. All right. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you guys so much for joining me every Wednesday at 9 a.m. I know right now it's 8.30, but I had to meet somebody at 9, um, so I had to jump on early. But 8, I'm sorry, 9 o'clock every morning, Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be on doing Wednesday Wisdom. If you have questions, join me. Um, if ask them, that's what I'm here for. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Have a good one. Oh, don't forget to share. Share, share. Somebody needs this share. <laughs>